Welcome back for another episode of In the Vault with your host, Mr. Green, here on the Women's Pro Wrestling Network. Now, this particular episode, as we give the setup, a little bit of backstory here. The reason why it wasn't used was because I just simply did not care for the footage. Uh, apparently, what was going on that particular day is where I was shooting the video was... I don't, what, what, is it is dusk, I think? But well, the sun was setting. And the sun was glaring into this building. And now, whereas the rest of the show essentially was fine, I think a match or so after this, the footage would go dark and it had some... Uh, silhouettes and things like that now granted there are times that you can see what's going on i just thought that it there was a certain quality that it was trying to i was trying to achieve and it just could not maintain that based on what was going on there also i think of one of the files that the match was being shot on actually went went awry so that there, there's a little bit of a, a, a glitch or a gap in the file that that was presented fortunately for me i you know i have two different cameras and it wasn't like a, a huge deal in there but still overall i didn't think that the match would have done just particularly at the time but now that we're you know again trying to save some of this footage it, it works today is is many years past it's not going to hurt them at this point They've already established who they are in the business. Ashton Star, The Wode, formerly known as Dementia the Rose and Rainbow Bright. Uh, they, they've all gone on to do you know big things on the independents and probably will continue to do big things. So here's the match from the vault. Back there, they would like a matchup. Rainbow Bright's in the ring here, and they're looking for a uh, well opponents for the team to take on. Rainbow Bright being an established team here on the independent circuit. Luscious Natasha and Gabby Gilbert. But the music that is playing now is probably not what they were expecting, as it appears. Yes, it is. As the uh, intergender icon. Ashton Starr is entering the, the ring, well, the ring side. Ladies, hi! It's nice to meet you. My name is Roar Wrestling, and I am here to formally introduce you to my foundation. Since practically I own everything and anything around here, and since none of the other girls are completely capable, it will be me versus you two bimbos. That's really, okay, I was going to make a comment about his uh, bold statement, essentially entering himself into a handicap match, but Dimension the Rose, I recognize this music, so does everybody else in the building, Dimension the Rose is apparently in the house, and uh, she may have something to say about this as well, as, as like normal, she is uh, power walking herself to the ring. Remember, there is no official... Uh, matchup that has been scheduled here. Well, it went easily without all, without so much of a dementia having to do any convincing. No, no. It went from him being willing to go in there and beat them both. Wait a minute. I'm just going to say this. Don't take this ass whooping person. All, all right. Well, the, the line from uh, Harlem Knights, but it's still effective. But I was gonna say Ashton Starr went from being perfectly willing to step in there for a handicap match to now saying, hey, we have to work together and put aside our differences to welcome uh, Rainbow Bright to, uh, to Roar uh, Wrestling. Uh, there's no rules in Roar. We have waited combined with 220 pounds. Pledge is Latasha, Gabby Gilbert, Rainbow Bright, and their opponents. Dimension, if you can give me a wait, but you know Dimension Arose. Outside. Half-Blood. 
You just heard the uh, ring announcement there. As Rainbow Bright is posing for the uh, photo photographers outside. On paper, you would say just on the tag team end of things, Rainbow Bright would have the uh, advantage. Ashton goes right. Ooh. Tried to jump start the match, and he caught a open hand slap for his troubles. Dropped toe hole by Gabby, and a float over into a cravat. Let's just Natasha caught on the side of the head with a drop kick. And I guess they are now proving the point of what I was just saying on paper as a tag team. Rainbow Bright should have the advantage here. They, are, they have functioned together for quite some time now. The only thing that has really been uh, eluding them is some version of tag team gold to show how good they are. Double elbows sends them down. Both of these ladies are exceptionally uh, good in the ring. I think Natasha is uh, one of the real unsung talents on the independent circuit forum. Shots has Ashton Star in the corner to take some step out. Charges in. Big splash. And there's the tag down partner, Gabby Gilbert. Maybe one of the most technical wrestlers comes on in. Comes in a forearm shot right there in the corner. And right here comes Dimension Rose. Without a tag, comes in to. Uh, save her partner and I use save very loosely I think she's just trying to save the loss then won it on, on herself slaps it on the back so there's not a lot of continuity here we can tell that already they are not a uh, established or a polished tag team but what they can do is utilize their strengths and uh, use basic tag team maneuvers to try to work themselves into a win although Dimension Rose now just biting her opponent in the face Ring announcer saying that Roar has no rules. There's not much that the referee can do. Even, even as blatant a bite as that was. Now we got it. Well, she's going for the strange range drop. Just roll it by Gilbert. And uh, Rose's uh, powerful lower body got out of it. And now she's just blatantly raking the face and the eyes. And again, because of Roar's setup, it is uh, very difficult for the referee to do anything, if, if anything at all. Rose to just build uh, Gabby out of the corner. Gabby fight for one knee. Her partner's trying to hang on here. Although technically she could probably just run into the ring and they could be double teaming her. But uh, I guess they're trying to operate within the uh, confines of the rules as Gabby just caught a short clothesline that sent her down. And now the Rose again with the biting. And somehow or another she is uh, beloved amongst this crowd. No matter how dirty she has gotten. And a slap on the back for the tag by Ashton Stark. And it looks like he's one to be a glory hog now. Does uh, Dimension Rose did all the work. And now Star is coming in just taunting. Rainbow Bright holding one of them down, and just holding her arm in front of her partner. And now Gilbert, Gilbert comes out and there's that te that technical expertise I was just talking about, trying to turn it over into a cross space. And it looks like <laughs> it's, it looks like Dimension Rose actually pulled the ropes away from her own partner so it couldn't break. Ashton just uh, made the tag. Sending it over to Dimension to Rose. Rose now back into the ring. And, and what was that even for? And now he tags himself back in and tells her to get out. And she is uh, not too caught, not too pleased with this. Day. She being Dimension to Rose. Into the turnbuckles. Ashton Star just sends Gilbert in Northern Light Suplex, but not enough to hold Gilbert down. Stars frustrated. And, and now they're arguing with each other. Rose saying that he needs to handle it. He's yelling back, shut up, stay on the apron. Crowd here getting behind Gilbert. Want her to uh, somehow save herself. And there's a stunner. 
drop star. Now she's going over to a part of makes the tag. And can Latasha turn this thing around for their team? Flying elbow, second one. Drop kick by Tasha uh, for the cover. And Dementia the Rose comes in for the save of her team. I think that has a lot less to do with Ashton Star and more to do with she does not want a loss under her name, regardless of whether she calls it or not. And now she tags. And she's beating her to make sure that the referee sees the tag. Tasha's giving it as good as she can get. Oh. Oh, my gosh. And that was just the strength of Dementia the Rose there. Caught in the spinning, strange and deranged drop. Now Natasha crawled over to what she thought was, I guess, some sort of haven. But it's not going to be a haven for long. And she just caught Damnesia. And the record for Damnesia has been clear. No one has come through with it, come from it yet. And no one's coming from it today. They were a game team. And again, on paper, it probably should have worked out differently, but nobody has come out of Damnesia yet. And I'm not sure if I will see anyone that will. I mentioned the Rose. May have uh, performed a lion's share of the work, but on the uh, record books, it will say Dimension Rose and Ashton Star defeated the team of Rainbow Bright. And I guess Ashton is uh, upset about being upstaged. And a headbutt. And now the partners. And I, I mean, I guess we're not going to call them partners now. It was just a partnership of convenience. And that partnership, as quickly as it began, is now quickly dissolved. Ashton trying to escape the wrath of Dementia the Rose. And Dementia now just beating on Ashton. Sends him out to the floor, and there are no mats. No mats out in the uh, raw environment. She's got Ashton Star on her shoulders, perhaps a, looking for a strange and strange drop on the outside, but Ashton's able to stop it and send her face first into the steel post. What, what is it? What is that? I can't even see what he got. I, I, handcuffs. Why is Ashton Star walking around with handcuffs? When, I, you know, I, I, I may not want to know what that was about. I mean, that's, that's not a normal item just to carry around day to day, unless you're a cop. And that's, I'm sure that is not his occupation. Oh! Still test shots to the back of a helpless Dimension the Rose. And still defiant. Ashton put dementia down and did she just break the handcuffs? I think Dimension Rose just broke the handcuffs. trying to get herself collected. Ashton has already left the premises, it seems like. After three or four chair shots there, Dementia took. She went down. No, Ashton's still taking a selfie at the curtain. Not a smart move, Ashton. Not a smart move. 